Bombshell breaking news from the World Rally Championship. Our two times World Rally Champion, 23-year-old Callie Robin Perra, has decided that 2024 will be a part-time season. What does this mean for Robin Perra and for the Toyota Gazoo Racing Team? Following a remarkably successful season-ending rally at Japan for the Toyota team, Robin Perra explained his decision. So yeah, of course, uh, first of all, I'm really happy to sign again with uh, Toyota Gazoo Racing. Um, the past years have been really good, we have been really successful also, so really happy to continue with the team. Uh, but yeah, next year is going to be a bit different for me and Jonne. We are going to see some changes, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, we are going to be driving half season with Jonne. And uh, yeah, there is few reasons behind that, but the biggest reason of course is that I've been driving rally for a really, really long time at the moment. And uh, I just felt that now, now it's a good moment to, to take a bit of break, to, to recharge the batteries and, and to have a bit of uh, time off, let's say, to, to focus on the future more, to have uh, more energy and more push in the next coming years. So. That's the main reason for the for the decision. I understand it seems that uh, we are really young. It hasn't been so long in the in the let's say double C category, but of course I've been trying for a really long time already. I don't know six, seven uh, years full full season, let's say even in the smaller categories. So of course when you are young and most of the time has gone gone to rallying, it feels a lot. So I think it's a good moment to to have a bit of uh, reset from that. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of time to do these seasons. Um, so that's definitely the biggest reason. Uh, we are going around the world all the time. And when you are pushing for the championships and for the wins all the time, um, let's say mentally you're all the time in the, in the competition mode throughout the seasons. So yeah, it takes a lot of effort and, and strength to do it. Yeah, let's see what, uh, what comes next year. Uh, I haven't really decided what, what else I will do, but uh, like everybody knows, I love all kinds of motorsports. So I just hope we will uh, for sure have some fun events to do. Some, hopefully some cool, cool events um, in drifting, hopefully maybe in rolling and what, what else, I don't know yet, but uh, I'm sure we will drive something nice. Definitely dif different approach next year. Uh, it's not fully decided what race, races we will do, but it's gonna be anyway, some races which are really good and positive for us. So yeah, really looking forward to be starting with some nice starting places on the rallies, with some starting uh, order being a bit better for us. So yeah, I'm sure we are gonna enjoy it. The plan is only for next year. After that, we are already um, signed for full seasons for the next coming years. The contract is multi-year. So yeah, for sure, it's only one season of this and then we are fight backing, back, uh, back fighting for the championships full time. There's no question this is one of the biggest stories to come out of the World Rally Championship in many, many years. And to many around the service park, well, it's come as a shock. We asked a number of his closest competitors just what this might mean for them. I mean, uh, OG is not doing full championship anymore. If Kali would be out, um, would be even yeah less contenders for, for the title fight. And uh, I mean, they're already not a lot. So if there's even one less, um, I think for the championship. I don't know what it means for the championship, but it shows that something is going wrong. In terms of the way you will approach next year's championship, though from a selfish point of view, uh, I guess it means one less means a bit more opportunity for you to take the title next year. Yeah, but I mean, Oit will still be there and he will definitely be the, the strongest contender in that case. Um, however, I, I want to fight against all the drivers. I don't take any pleasure about fighting only one driver. I mean, the, the pleasure is to be in the fight with everybody. The pleasure is also there to animate um, the people around, to animate the service park and, and give a show because, I mean, the best example this weekend, there was a lot of spectators, but there wasn't a great show in terms of competition. So, and that's something which is desperately missing in WRC at the moment. So, any driver less uh, is, a, is a problem. It shows that uh, sport definitely has something missing. If a young champion like this even doesn't want to do the championship, obviously there is something very wrong. And I hope really this opens eyes from FIA and promoter, but from other hand, you know, I don't know, I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, I mean, from our side, the uh, approach really doesn't change. Whoever is, is competing there, we still have our own job to do.
Well, if that's the case, I think it's, it proves that he's also tired, you know, for this uh, traveling here and there, you know, what belongs to the sport to do a full season, it's, it's, a, it's a commitment. It's not, not only the, the days what you see on the TV or media, it's a lot more as well. And, um, and I, I think there has been also some, some comments and, and statements about the format. So maybe he wants to show as well that something needs to be changed, you know. Um, you know, but you talk there about the formats. Do you think that we need to look at the number of rallies, the length of rallies? Do you think there are perhaps big issues there that need to be addressed going forward? Yeah, we, we should do something. As Okay, over here the, there was a lot of people watching, spectating, a uh, huge amount of uh, spectators on the road sections. Also probably on the stages, but yeah, this we can't see so much. Um, but what, what we feel that it's it's the interest is going down for this sport, so something needs to be changed to make it more interesting and, and maybe to shorten at least some of the events should be good. There is no question we will move on from here. Toyota will move on from here. Kali Rovenpera will move on and he will be back. Will he return to a better championship though? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below this video. As far as the 2024 season goes, well, everything is on the table now. It absolutely blows the competition wide open. Elvin Evans, Oit Tanak, Thierry Neuville will all know that they will start the year as favourites to become World Rally Champion. It's enormous news for Toyota. It's enormous news for Cali Rovenpera. It's enormous news for the World Rally Championship. But there is no question we can look forward to an exciting 2024.